co-star split, tragedy and lads mags past. The video will auto play soon 8 cancel we have more newsletters thank you for subscribing. Something went wrong, please try again later. Share your email to get soaps interviews, spoilers from the star Coronation Street viewers were first introduced to the Webster family in 1983. Kevin Webster moved to Weatherfield and his sister Debbie and father Bill later joined him. Kevin has been married three times since living there, his first marriage being to Sally Seddon in 1986. They had two girls, Rosie and Sophie but in 1999 they divorced because both Kevin and Sally had been unfaithful. Kevin married again in 2000 to Allison Wakefield they had a son Jake but he died shortly after his birth due to a group B strep infection and because of the stress of losing the child Allison threw herself under a lorry. In 2002, Kevin finally convinced Sally to marry him again she accepted and they remarried in December that year. Kevin became a father again in 2010, this time to baby Jack whose mother is the late Molly Dobbs. When Sally found out that Kevin was the father she kicked him out the house, but Sally let him move back him when he had an accident at the garage. The pair ended up divorcing in 2012 following 10 years of their second marriage, and although both of them continued being friends they moved on to different partners. Kevin currently lives at 13 Coronation Street with his partner Abby, son Jack and sister Debbie. As the mechanic is set to find out about Abby's affair in upcoming scenes. Daily Star has taken a look into the lives of the stars who play the Webster family members. Bill Webster, Peter Armitage, Image, ITV, Peter Armitage had three spells as Bill Webster in the ITV soap opera. The actor first played the character from 1984 until 1985, then from 1995 until 1997, and more recently from 2006 until 2011. He was appointed a member of the Order of the British Empire, MBE, in the 2011 Birthday Honours for Services to Amateur Theatre in Yorkshire. In 2014, Peter stated in an interview that he hoped to return to the series after successfully battling bowel cancer. His other TV credits include The Befrienders, Couples, Jack the Ripper and Hearts and Minds. Image, ITV, he also appeared in Lucky Feller, a short-lived sitcom starring David Jason. In 1998, Peter played Danny Ormondroyd in a stage adaptation of the film Brast Off at the Sheffield Crucible in London's Olivier Theatre. He married actress Annabel Scase in 1970, but the pair later divorced. The soap star sadly died of a heart attack on November 30, 2018 aged 79 and was survived by his two children. Kevin Webster, Michael Lavelle, Image, Press Association, Michael Lavelle made his debut as Weatherfield mechanic Kevin Webster in 1983. However, Kevin is not the only toll the actor has played in the serial drama. He had a guest role as paperboy Neil Grimshaw when he was younger. When he was 15, Michael's mother died from a brain tumor, and when he was 22, his father died of lung cancer. He was offered the role of Kevin, and gained status as a gay icon in the 1980s because he wore tight jeans and had a mustache. Michael, now 57, married actress Jeanette Beaverly in October 1986, but they operate in 2011 separated after 25 years together because they had become estranged from each other. The father of two was a member of the celebrity football team All Stars, who play for charities. In 2007, he was hospitalized during a match after breaking three ribs while playing football. He was stretchered off wearing an oxygen mask after crashing into the opposing team's goalkeeper. Kevin is set to be left heartbroken in upcoming scenes as he discovers his partner Abby, Sally Carmen, has cheated on him. Sally Metcalf, Sally Dynever, Sally first appeared on screen in 1986 when Kevin drove past her in his van and accidentally splashed her while she was waiting for a bus. Her notable storylines have seen her have an on and off relationship and marriage with Kevin, becoming the victim of domestic violence by Greg Kelly, Stephen Billington, being diagnosed with breast cancer as well as her attempts to become the pillar of the community. The actress married scriptwriter Tim Dynever in Trafford, Greater Manchester in 1995. They have three children, including Bridgerton star daughter Phoebe Dynever. Image, copyright unknown, in November 2009. Dynever was diagnosed with breast cancer the same year her character was, for which she has had chemotherapy and radiotherapy. She returned to the ITV soap in July 2010 after a six-month break. Both the actor and character went on to make full recoveries. Sally, now 58, was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire, MBE, in the 2021 New Year Honours for Services to Drama. She collected her medal at a ceremony at Windsor Castle on February 2 this year. The soap icon is currently appearing on the current series of Dancing on Ice. Debbie Webster, Sue Devaney, 
image, ITV Rex Shutterstock, Sue Devaney has played Kevin Webster's sister Debbie on and off since 1984. The actress has previously opened up about her troubles as she discussed her work with homeless people. Previously peaking to the Manchester Evening News, she revealed that she had a taste for some of the bad things in life. The TV star said she called it the disease of more more more. Image, Getty Images, Sue added that she wanted everything in excess and didn't use substances in moderation, whether that was booze or sugar. She told the publication that she knew what it was like to be an addict and to have low self-esteem and to feel low self-worth. People turn to substance abuse because, initially, it takes the pain away, even if it is just for an hour or so, she said. Then, it stops working, and the very thing you use to take the pain away is causing you catastrophic pain. Rosie Webster, Helen Flanagan, Helen Flanagan took over the role of Rosie Webster in 2000. Actress Emma Collinge played the role of Sally and Kevin's eldest daughter from 1990 until 1999. Helen, 31 left the show for maternity leave in 2018 has since said that she is unsure when she will return. She has two daughters and one son with her footballer fiancé Scott Sinclair. Helen appeared on ITV reality show I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, back in 2012. She went on to pose up a storm in a raunchy shoot for FHM magazine's 2013 calendar. With just a skimpy cardigan and a pair of G-string briefs preserving her modesty, the soap siren flaunted her fabulous figure for all to see. Glancing provocatively towards the camera, Helen covered her, her mouth as she gave her best look. Wearing a pair of sexy black stockings, Helen ensured her cleavage was given maximum exposure by fully unbuttoning her barely there white cardigan as she knelt on the floor. She told the February 2013 edition of FHM, I don't hate being called a wag, but it's not what I am. I'm an actress, I like to model, and I like doing my own thing. Sophie Webster, Brooke Vincent, Image, ITV, Brooke Vincent has played Sophie Webster since 2004 and is the third actress to play the character. Ashley Middleton played the role from 1994 until 1997 and Emma Woodward took over from 1997 until 2004. Sophie's storylines have included her constant rivalry with Rosie, her converting to Christianity and her lesbian relationships with both Sian Powers, Satcha Parkinson, and Maddie Heath, Amy James Kelly. Brooke, now 29, left the show in 2019 when she went on maternity leave, with Sophie's final scenes airing in October of that year. The actress has said she currently has no immediate plans to return to the show after welcoming her two sons. Image, Light Rocket via Getty Images, she has been in a relationship with footballer Keen Bryan since 2016. In August last year, Brooke confirmed to Daily Star that she would be postponing her future work, she explained, I left Corey to have my first little boy, and then I always knew I wanted my children close together, so then I had my other little boy, and I'm just being a mum at the minute. Anybody that's got children will tell you how hard it is to, even to put the washing in the washing machine. So yeah, I'm just being a mum, and getting myself back and trying to get us into a routine and focusing on them. It's kind of a decision that we made as a family, and it's just nice to have that special time with them without having major distractions of what's been going on. Coronation Street airs Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on ITV for more of the latest showbiz news from Daily Star, make sure you sign up to one of our newsletters here.